Hello everybody, and this is a video, and this is not a happy video. This is not me waving and being fun and saying hello. This is a um, super pissed off video, but at the same time, I'm trying really fucking hard to understand other people's suffering and shit like that, okay? I understand that everyone goes through their own shit, and everyone deals with things a certain way. So the only thing I can do is to share how I do things and how I fucking feel. All right. First off, being a writer, being a poet, being any type of creator of the fucking written word is a lonely fucking practice it's supposed to be it's not a fucking group activity okay you what you call loneliness i call solitude it is how i fucking work now before any of you freak out Unless you sent me a message last night, because I am recording this on Tuesday, November 15th. So unless you sent me an ultimatum through message last night, then this video is not for you. So if any of you watching this are like, oh no, like, is he pissed off at me? I'm not pissed off at you. But if you sent me a fucking ultimatum last night, I am fucking mad at you. I'm not mad at you. I'm, I, I feel for you. But you need to understand something. And everyone in the Anarchy crew will already know this. But I will not let you murder my art. Okay? Some of you might not be fucking aware of what the fuck I'm talking about right now. So I'm going to try to illustrate this a little bit. There are some people out there who are writers, but they think writing is a very lonely endeavor, okay? So to fix this, they try to put together writing groups where they can, you know, have a bunch of people who are also writing and they can all talk about how fucking lonely it is. You know that saying that you are the algamation of your five closest friends if you surround yourself with people who are fucking miserable and depressed and lonely with their writing that is what you are going to be so i do not recommend people joining groups with a bunch of fucking lonely hearts club fucking authors that are just depressed all the time, that it is so lonely writing. Look, maybe writing isn't fucking for you. If you want to make friends being a writer, start writing screenplays, start writing scripts, start writing stage plays. Because then, and I will tell you from experience, I had a lot more friends when I was writing scripts. Because when you write a script, other people can get involved. Actors are like, oh, you're writing me a part. Let's be friends while this project is going on. But the idea of you being able to fucking message me whenever the fuck you want to talk about all of your depressing shit when, A, you make excuses for every fucking thing under the sun. I, I have nothing for you. I have nothing to give you because you say these words when I talk to you. You say, I can't do that. You don't understand my situation. You don't understand how hard it is for me. Do you understand how fucking selfish and stupid that sounds? You have no idea the struggles I've fucking been through. You have no idea what I have had to overcome. And you know what I did? I fucking overcame those things. And I'm not even fucking fully overcome them now. But I fucking bust my fucking ass. A lot of you say 
that I do more things than you could ever imagine doing. How do you think that is? I will tell you how that is. My fucking social life has been fucked by this. My personal life has been fucked by this. My finances have been fucked by this. My fucking relationships have been fucked by this. Because what you don't understand is my art, my writing, comes before everything. And when you say, oh, I can't do that. Oh, you don't understand my situation. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. Those are all the things you're putting above your writing. I do not want to be held down by someone who makes excuses for every fucking thing they do in their life. Okay? I am not that kind of person. And if this has to be a fucking tough love moment, then fucking here it is. I wish you all the fucking best. But trying to be my friend is exhausting because you're the only one initiating contact. Let me fucking paint a picture for you, precious. Okay? Let me explain something to you. I have to schedule times to talk to my child. Because if I don't, like two weeks will go by without any communication. That's a horrible fucking thing. My child is a grown adult now. That's great. And I'm very proud of my kid. I love my kid. I love my kid so much more than I love any of you fucking people. And I still have a hard time talking to my kid. Why? Because every fucking second of every fucking day, I'm fucking constantly thinking of this fucking thing I do. I work from the second I get out of fucking bed until the second I fucking go to sleep. So yeah, if you want to look at like what my hourly pay is for the amount of work I do, we're, we're, we're netting about three cents per hour. But that's not the fucking point. Because the thing is, even when I wasn't making money at this, I was still doing this. Because it's a fucking compulsion. I can live without ever talking to any of you again. I cannot live without creating. If creation was taken from me, I would die. Like, I wouldn't, like, drop dead. I would fucking kill myself. The art of creation is the only fucking thing that keeps me going. It is the thing that drives me to strive for more. Like, my knuckles say fucking type hard. They don't say text hard, okay? I'm not here to fucking make friends. If I make friends along the way, that's great. But one thing you have to understand, and any of my friends who actually know me will tell you, he's a great guy. You might not hear from him for a few weeks, but when you hear from him, he'll give you all he fucking can. And that's fucking true. But I am not a fucking doormat for you to fucking wipe your feet on whenever you're feeling fucking low. That's not what this is. Any writer who starts a writing group to try to make friends with other writers who are lonely, you need to be alone to fucking write. Dude, I've never heard somebody say, oh man, you know what? And I've read a lot of fucking how to do shit books, okay? I've never read a book where some guy's like, I'll do the best thing. For me, when I'm when I'm writing, is I like to go and have like a bunch of people talk to me and ask me fucking questions um, when I'm writing. That's that's how I write. That's how I really fucking get typing. Oh, it's even cooler like when bill collectors call me and then I talk to them while I'm typing. That sounds stupid because that's not a fucking thing. Nobody fucking does that. When you expect people, when you expect people to fucking like be your fucking therapist. Because you're fucking lonely? Because of your own fucking life choices? You are murdering their fucking art. You are killing the only thing that makes them who they fucking are. It's so fucking selfish, dude. Who the fuck do you think you are? That everyone should drop everything they're doing to be your fucking therapist. That you're not going to fucking listen to anyway. I don't think writing is for you. 
I think you should move on to a theater group. If you want people to be around you all the time that you could complain to about all your fucking travails, why are you fucking complaining anyway? Write that shit. Fucking hell, dude. So last night after I got this fucking ultimatum, I just said, wow, that was it. I, I'm like, this is fucking stupid. Whatever. And I, I was thinking to myself, I'm like, last night I was going to do this video and this video was going to be fucking nasty as shit. Nasty as shit. But I'm like, I'm going to wait till tomorrow. Okay. So I wait till today and I was feeling pretty good and I was going to come in here and do like a really like nice caring fucking thing. But guess what fucking happens? The texts start coming back in. The messages start coming. Blah, 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 blah. All this shit. This happens to me all the time. Like, you're not the first person who's done this to me. All my friends do this to me. And I'm like, then take a fucking look in the mirror. If everyone is fucking treating you like this, maybe you're the fucking problem. Nothing. Nothing. Cannot accept any responsibility for their own actions. You wanted me to join your fucking group. You said your group... The app that you guys use does not work on the phone and it has to work on the computer. And I told you, I use my computer for making money. I use my computer for writing and I use my computer for making videos. When I'm doing this, you will not be here. This is me. This is where I spill my fucking soul. I will not let you take that from me. This is more important than you. That sounds horrible. That sounds harsh, but it's the fucking truth. And anyone who has been around me for any amount of time knows that I do not mean this as an insult, that I do not mean this as a slight against you. It is, this is how I do the fucking thing. You will not be a part of this thing. So I appreciated the offer. Everything's fine. Everything's good. You said you wanted 200 people in your group. That was your goal. And I asked you why. And you said, because it's good to have friends. Okay. Well, if you want friends that bad, stop fucking writing and just try to make friends. Because if you go up to writers who want to fucking write... And then you get mad when they don't fucking respond to you right away. You have to understand that a lot of people out there have fucking jobs. They have families. They have lives. And they get to put their writing in anywhere they can fit it in. And since you have already like put yourself into the world of writing... That means you will fall in to the writing category instead of the friend category because that's where you connected. But any fucking writer will always put their writing first. And if you can't fucking handle that, if that is too much for you, you need to find a different type of friend. And here's another thing for everyone out there. If you want to write a book, but like the only way you could do it is with a co-author, you're not looking to write a book. You're looking for a friend. Okay? So just look for friends. Don't fucking hide behind, oh, I'm a writer. Don't do that. It's fucking disgusting. And it's fucking lying to the person you're talking to. It's not fair to them. You are a very selfish person, and I am not going to allow you to murder my art. And the people around you should not let them do that. You, they should not let you do that to them either. This is harsh as, harsh as shit. I fucking understand that, and I apologize if I'm fucking hurting your feelings, but I have done everything I fucking can to fucking make this clear to you, and you are not getting it. So maybe now on a video that will clog your feed, you will be able to fucking understand what I'm saying, okay? So with that said, 
if again if you did not send me an ultimatum last night then this video is not for you but i think the um the moral is for everybody do not let anybody fucking destroy your fucking art by fucking taking your fucking time the time that you would be writing do not let that fucking happen to you. When people do this, they need to be fucking called out and fucking shown that that's how they're acting. So that's it. That's all I got to fucking say. <sighs> Type hard, don't text hard, and whatever. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.